You are listening to the Winner's Ways podcast with Bola Halabi, episode number 104. Would you like to win and achieve success in what you do? Welcome to the Winner's Ways podcast, where we create winners every day. And now your host, the author of Winner's Ways book and life coach, Bola Alabi. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of the Winner's Ways podcast. This is where we talk about your career, your money, and everything in between. Thank you for joining me again today. I know if you have been with me for a while, you know when I say everything in between, I'm referring to those motivational messages that I share to help you to live to your fullest potential. But today, I want to digress a little bit and share my thoughts on COVID-19 aka coronavirus and I'm gonna be talking about how you can stay protected yes I'm gonna be talking about COVID-19 I know this is strange coming from me but I am the guy who made a podcast episode recently about how to influence and impact people's lives so I better listen to my own advice I typically shy away from controversial topics uh, because for the most part, they only lead to arguments and animosity, uh, especially when you have a uh, conflicting opinion or different views. And most of the time there are, there are no solutions. And I love to talk about solutions, not uh, actually focusing on the problems. Of course, I know there are people that are matured enough that can argue objectively that's looking at facts, looking at figures, and looking at data to support their positions. Disagreement with these people uh, will not necessarily lead to rancor, but both of you will mutually and respectfully agree to defer. You both understand what that you both understand that you have a difference of opinion and that you are not enemies. So today's episode is for those mature people that can discuss issues without leading to any form of animosity. If you are not ready for this episode, you can please go back and check my previous episodes. I'm sure you will find something that you will enjoy. So without further ado, I'm going to go into today's uh, show. My thoughts on COVID-19 and how to protect you and your family. That's the title. So coronavirus uh, disease, COVID-19, is an infectious uh, disease caused by the newly discovered coronavirus. According to WHO, that's World Health Organization, most people infected with this uh, virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and they can recover without requiring special treatments. But older people and those with underlying medical problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, and cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. As at the time that I'm putting this together, according to CNN, Coronavirus has been found in over 221 countries and uh, over 210 million COVID-19 cases have been reported, 
with uh, over 4.4 million deaths. And this disease originated from China. There is a lab in China, the Wuhan lab. Well, when I saw this, I saw 221 countries. Uh, how many countries are there in the world? Do you guys know? Is it 194? Is it 249? I think it depends on who you ask. I think there are some territories that may be counted as countries. Anyway, the focus today is not about the number of countries in the world, but uh, about this pandemic. According to US news, some countries have managed to stave off this coronavirus pandemic since it began early in 2020 by reporting zero cases as of July 21, 2021. And this, according to this news, uh, 12 of these 14 countries and territories, uh, they are in the island in the Pacific and Atlantic oceans. And they are benefiting because they are bordered by sea. Maybe they are, and they say there are strict travel policies in those islands so you can't get into them or easily and maybe people <clears throat> so you can't get into those islands easily and people in the island may not be able to travel out of the island easily as well one thing for sure that we must all know is that for this disease to have been declared a pandemic it means it, it can spread worldwide so what are the controversies around coronavirus? I feel it's necessary to talk about this, especially if you are in the US, uh, it is back to school time and uh, there are a lot of issues, uh, controversies around mask and masking of children as uh, kids go back to school. I'm going to be talking about those controversies and why it seems out of control in most places in the world, especially here in the United States. But before uh, we start that, it makes sense to talk about the origin of this disease. We've heard that the disease originated in China, the entire world needs to know what led to this disease. What were they doing in the Wuhan laboratory? How did the disease get past the defenses at the Wuhan lab? Did it get out by accident? Was it sabotage? I believe a detailed root cause analysis is essential so that people that are responsible are held accountable. Right now, there is no political leadership to accomplish that. So the next best thing that you can do for you and your family is to stay protected. And I know there are people uh, on both sides of the debate that have several concerns. I'm going to talk about those concerns and share my view. The first concern that most people have expressed is that the vaccine was rolled out uh, in a rush. Yeah, people have said, oh, they rushed this vaccine. We don't know everything about it. And I'll say you are correct. But A, the world was dealing with an emergency. This was a novel virus. What do we expect? Do we expect scientists to take their precious time uh, before coming up with a solution and they watch people die. No, it has to be treated as an emergency and that was exactly what they did. But data, several data have showed that the vaccine works. So that's all you need to know. The vaccine worked. The second concern that most people have expressed is that we do not know what they put in the vaccine. 
That's also true if you have not done your research. But A, we do not always know all the components of substances in our pain relievers, yet we take them. You don't know everything in your cough syrup, yet you use them. You don't know everything, all the substances, all the ingredients in cancer treatment drugs, but I bet people still use them. But if you really want to know everything that is uh, the component, the ingredients in this uh, COVID vaccine, you can go to the FDA.gov website. I checked it out myself and saw some of the ingredients. They include potassium chloride, potassium phosphate, all those elements. I don't know what they do, but if they treat people and make people safe, then it's reasonable to consider using them. So the message here is, if you really care about the components or the ingredients in the vaccine, why not check it out? I don't typically check out ingredients in any drugs. I just use them if they help. But hey, the world has changed. If you want to know the ingredients, go to FDA. That's Food and Drug Administration website and check it out. So that's number two. People are saying we do not know what they put in the vaccine. Number three concern that I've heard is that the vaccine will kill people. I've seen too many videos circulating with people asserting that the vaccine contains some magnetic components and that the vaccine will eventually kill those that took it. We're all going to die someday anyway. But here are the facts again. About 1.9 billion people have so far been vaccinated. That's around 24% of the world population. About 32% of the entire world has received at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Here in the United States, over 360 million doses have been administered. 170 million people are fully vaccinated in the US. That's over 50% of the United States population. Are you telling me that they want to wipe out half of the United States population? That's not, that's not true. That can be right. And that's why authorities, they are encouraging people to go get it. And I'm adding my voice. If you can, please get the vaccine. There is no agenda to wipe out the world population with this vaccine. That's a lie. Don't believe it. The number four concern that I've heard is that FDA has not approved this vaccine. And that's true. The vaccine at this moment is experimental. You see, FDA follows a detailed and rigorous process and procedure before they can approve any drug or vaccine for that matter. They gather data, they look at figures, they study side effects, reactions, before they can give their final approval. And I believe right now they are almost at the tail end of that process. According to CDC, COVID-19 vaccines are safe and effective. COVID-19 vaccines were evaluated in tens of thousands of participants during the clinical trials. The vaccine met the FDA rigorous scientific standard for safety, effectiveness, and manufacturing quality needed to support the emergency use authorization. And that's what uh, COVID-19 currently have, the emergency use authorization. 
guys, the alternative is to wait for FDA to get a final approval and we watch people contract this uh, disease. Right now in Texas and Florida, most of the hospitals are at or nearing their full capacity. There are no beds in the hospital. So it's better to stay protected. Uh, and again, the other thing you could do is to risk contracting the disease while waiting for that final approval. And I don't think that's a reasonable approach. They've performed the necessary study and they came out to tell us that the vaccines are safe and effective. So another concern that I've heard, uh, maybe number five right now, is that masks are useless. That's a lame excuse in my opinion. Except if you have any medical conditions that may prevent you from using masks, such as maybe for asthmatic people, uh, they will find it difficult to breathe uh, under those masks. And don't get me wrong, uh, masks uh, aren't always comfortable. Uh, I don't like using them, but I use them to protect myself and to protect other people around me and to help fight against this disease. But to really understand the effectiveness of the mask, you need to understand how the disease spread. According to CDC, a Center for Disease Control, COVID-19 spread when an infected person breathes droplets and very small particles that contain the virus. These droplets and particles can be breathed in by other people or land on their nose or eyes or mouth. So if that happens, they will also automatically contract the disease. And they often say that people who are closer than six feet from an infected person are most likely to get infected. So you have to try to stay protected. And that's why they said we should practice social distancing. You don't want to move too close to someone that is infected. But hey, here's the danger. You won't know if a person is infected uh, by mere looking at them. And that's why if you use your mask, at least if any droplet or any breath is coming from them, it can reduce uh, the impact uh, of those droplets or it can help to block them off so that you won't get infected. So mask protect you, mask uh, protect others. Please use it when you can. The other concern that I've heard is that I do not know anyone that has died of COVID-19. In my opinion, this is pathetic. I saw a post on Facebook uh, the other day and this guy posted, do you know anyone that has died of COVID? And people started responding, oh no, yes, it was a hoax, nothing is like COVID. That's crazy, guys. I, <laughs> my, here's my take. I do not know anyone personally that has died in a plane crash but that does not mean that I don't believe that people die when plane crash landed, right? I do not know anyone personally that has died of HIV AIDS. Yet, I believe it when they say people have died from the disease. Why is COVID-19 different? And all this stem from our political leaders and their rank or their disagreements. They planted the seed of this discord. My friends, you do not need to know people that die from this disease before being responsible and taking precautions to protect yourself and others. You do not need to know people that have died. I've heard of people uh, that have died. I know a couple of people that were infected with the virus Thank God they survived. 
So please stay safe. The last one that I'm going to talk about is vaccinated people are still also getting infected. And that's true. None of the vaccine makers have claimed that their vaccines are 100% efficient. Even masks will not offer you 100% protection. But guess what? The combination of these two will help reduce the chances of contracting this virus. It is so sad because quite a few number of Influential people have used their platform to discourage others from taking this vaccine or using masks to protect uh, people. It is sad, especially when it comes from political leaders, such as governors in states. It seems they don't even care about their citizens. They see every day that there are people in the hospitals, on the hospital bed, struggling to cling on to life. But because of their political agenda, they refuse to enforce masks. They refuse to share the right practices and information that will help people to stay safe. And that's not good. But the responsibility lies on all of us. We have to step up. Right now, we are not winning the war against COVID-19 because we are divided. Yes, deeply divided, especially here in the United States. And you all know that a house divided against itself cannot stand. If you are against masking, please provide an alternative solution that will protect people. You can't just tell us that, hey, we, uh, we got to live with this. If you fall sick, good luck. That's not a solution. If you are against the vaccine, please, what do you recommend to people so that they can protect themselves from this virus? You have to come up with solutions. You can't just be against vaccines without coming up with an alternative. Let's talk about solutions, guys. But doing nothing is simply not acceptable. Life will not go back to normal until we defeat this deadly virus. I am an unrepentant optimist and I believe that there is nothing we cannot achieve when people stand together and fight together. We can defeat this disease, but we have to do it together. So here is my recommendation. Please follow the CDC guidelines. They are human. They are not perfect. But one thing that I know is that they have good intentions. Please practice social distancing. Wash your hands more often. Wear a mask where appropriate and above all get vaccinated so that together we will win this war against COVID-19. Thank you for listening. Till next time again, this is Bola Halabi. Keep winning my friends. Keep winning. This episode of Winner's Ways podcast has come to a close. We hope you enjoy and learn something from today's show. We want you to win and excel in all areas of your life. And we regularly explore and share information with our listeners to empower them to win. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more tips and strategies to help you find the success that you've always dreamt of. And don't forget to rate and review so that we can continue to bring you more podcast episodes to empower you. We will love to have you again next week. Now, keep winning. Thank <laughs> you.